Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for today's project and never ending card. Full list of dimensions and instructions are over at my blog, kwarnerstudio.com, and that link will be below. This requires a 12 inch piece or four sheets of paper, three by six inches. You score at one and a half inches. And then you rotate 180 degrees and put the far corner back into the corner of the scoreboard and score again at one and a half inches. This gives you uh, the same length or width from the edge. Then measure on two pieces of paper a half inch on each side. The other two pieces do not have to be marked. The idea is that you're going to put score tape or double sided adhesive of tape just below that half inch mark making sure that you do not cover the score lines so just come up to them but leave a little smidge of space I extended the line a little bit so that I could see exactly where I was applying my tape it doesn't matter if you have the mountain or the valley So you're going to put two pieces on each side on two pieces of the 3x6 cardstock. The other two pieces you're going to set aside because you're going to adhere those to this or these two pieces. So when you have this done, you lay them so that you have the tape on the top and the tape on the bottom. You remove the score tape or double sided adhesive tape and then you take your other piece and you uh, line up the corners. Lining them up accurately and having accurate measurements of your cardstock and the score lines is really important for this card. If you do that everything will work wonderfully. So you'd hear the top and the bottom on the same side before you move over to the other side. I'm removing the tape on the other side of the top portion, taking my leftover piece and lining the corners up. Once you remove the two strips on the bottom portion, uh, that piece should lay down perfectly, but make sure that you line up the corners. And then you have to burnish the score lines. It's easier if you hold one hand down as I'm doing here and then burnish the score line on the opposite side. So use your left hand and score the score and burnish the right side and then do the opposite. Work each of the score lines folding the card. You just want to make it easier for the recipient to be able to work it. This type of card all of the imagery will face one way so you don't have to move the card every which direction so that everything is upright and then you're going to decide if you want mats and if you want to have mats, which I like the appearance of mats, then you need to cut an assortment and those numbers are in the description below to the blog. Here I've used some alcohol paper but I've had to do the card a few times because I had a cut on one thumb and then I, I broke a nail right down by the cuticle on the other one so this is the final card. As you can see this is the first fold and the second fold and the third fold and it gets really addictive you just keep folding it and folding it and I know a little fellow that's really going to like this card so here's a closer look at the cover of the card and then here are photographs so you can have a closer look Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this card. Please leave comments below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Bye-bye.